going to demonstrate how to run a final expense life quote on the CSG quoting tool. So when you are signed in, in your tool section, you'll see a run quote under final expense life. I'll go ahead and hit that. It will then take me to the next page where I will start by entering my client zip code. You will see when I do that, it will then populate the city and the state in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I can then adjust the age, the gender, and the tobacco status. For face value amounts, I can leave it at that 10,000. I can also adjust it if I needed to move it to 20 or 30,000. I can add those different face value amounts in there or I can do it as a monthly rate. So if the client only has a particular dollar amount that they can allocate towards a final expense life plan, I can always type that dollar amount in there. So it would then pull up any plans that are $50 or less. So I do have that option. And then underneath the benefit type, we do have different benefits that you can select from. We have graded, level, 20 or 30 pay, modified return of premium, single pay options. And then for the underwriting type, we do have full or guarantee issue underwriting. So any underwriting that would be incorporated into the uh, policy would be considered full underwriting. It would also bring up any simplified underwriting plans or you could do any guarantee issue plans just to see those. We can sort by price, AMS rating, SP rating, and then the client label is optional, but if I wanted to type in my client's name so I have it saved, I can do so, and then I will just hit get quote. It will then populate all the plans that are available for my client based on the information that I entered in that original quote, so the face value of 20,000 level benefit. So as I scroll here, scroll through here, you can see the different plans that we have available. Um, we do have some different features as well as being able to see what that annual fee is, what's the name of that plan, um, maybe how many years they've been in the market, if we have that information. Um, we also have a carrier resources button, so if you wanted to go directly to the carrier's website, you can click on that carrier resources resources button and it will take you directly to that website. Underneath your adjust view, we do have some different options on how we are viewing the rate for the client. So I can choose to apply the fees. So if I have my green check mark over apply fees, I will see how that annual fee is now applied to that monthly rate. I can also change the monthly rate to quarterly, semi-annual, or an annual rate depending on how my client would like to pay for their plan. If my client was interested in a couple of different plan options um, and they just wanted to kind of compare the plan side by side and the price, I can always select up to five different companies to compare. So when I do that, they will then turn green in my compare quotes button in the upper left hand corner of the screen here. I can then see all the plans side by side. I can print this off or I can save it as a PDF so I can export this, I can send it to my client, I can save it for my records, um, and when that does download here, it will have all of your contact information here. Um, it would also have your logo if your logo is attached to your account, and then we would have those different plans there side by side so they can view all the different rates. Now an option when you are running your quote, you can also set your My Companies tab up for final expense as well. So if you are only appointed with so many carriers for final expense, you can set that up. I'm going to go back here to my quote section. In my settings tab, up in the upper right hand corner of the screen here, I can select the companies that I just want to write business for. Um, when those are selected there, I'll just make sure I hit save here. I can also change my, um, change my settings as well. So if I always want to show the my companies first, if I always want to apply fees, or maybe I always want to view it as an annual rate, I can always do that as well. When I go back to my quote here on the left hand side of the screen, on the left adjust view settings, the my companies tab, when I have that check marked, now this is just going to show those carriers that I had selected as my companies. That way I don't have to sort through 
um, several different carriers. I just know the carriers that I write or the plans that I sell um, so I can easily assess those plans for my client. We also have an applications health conditions underwriting filter that you can select your client's health conditions to see if that is going to be a question on the application. So if I wanted to type in um, heart attack, for example, I would select that. And then on the right hand side, underneath the quote, underneath the categories, it will then tell me the look back period on that application for this particular health condition. So I can see here that some of the underwriting is available um, for the heart attack. So for example, with this Banker's Fidelity Life, the application health question will ask, has the client suffered from a heart attack in the last three years? So you can type in multiple different health conditions here and see what that underwriting look back period is. If you have any questions on how to use our final expense quoting tool or if you would like to sign up with a subscription with us, please send us an email at info at csgactuarial.com or you can give us a call directly at 855-861-8776.